Hey guys, my name is Wesley Jamini and welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, you're so very welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. In this episode, I wanted to share with you guys an updated video of what's in my bag and also just show you the different types of bags that I use when I go to work. So I really hope that you enjoy it. <music> So this bag right here is an oldie but a goodie. The history around this bag is that I got it as my first, one of my first purchases when I started working. You know, I needed a pretty, very girly bag and it's from Guess and it really has held up over the years and it also just carries quite a lot. So what I do use for it is that I do take it to work, but I also use it casually when I'm going out. It's a nice bag. I really, really do enjoy it. I enjoy the shape of it as well. So even when I'm going to invest in a new laptop bag, I would really like for it to have this type of shape, but also like big enough to carry all the things that I have. So let's see what's in my bag. So like I did say, this bag does carry a lot and it's quite strong also to be able to handle the weight. So as you guys can see, it's holding up quite a lot of items. That's quite a bit for this bag and very cute interior as well. So what I do have inside, the main work tool, my laptop, always going to carry this along with me. And I really like the size because it fits into a lot of my bags. So it's not a mission to carry it around. In my experience, I've had various sizes of laptops and some of them are ginormous. Looking at my personal laptop from years ago and it's, it's quite big. So this is a really nice size and fits into my bag quite well. And then I have my diary, very cute diary. I got this at Mr. Price home and I really think they have great stuff there. So I always just update my diaries. I write a lot. So I remember things by writing them down. Even if I have to remember somebody's name, I write it down and only then I'm able to remember. It helps me quite a lot because I know where I wrote things down. I might not remember what I wrote down, but I definitely remember where it is. So I also keep my diary in here. I'm also part of the health and safety team so i have my uniform in here as well and yeah only because i haven't kept it in the office but it's it's it was advisable that we have our uniform close to us so if anything does happen we're able to reach into it so i do keep these and for the bigger bags i also keep flat shoes so that i'm able to change into them if there really is an emergency so i keep my uniform in there I've got my access card and because I'm always so forgetful, I always make sure that I wear it around my neck. I know a lot of people don't wear them because, I mean, it, it's, it doesn't go with the outfits. But if I don't, I will definitely use it. So I keep my access card. And then I also have my AirPods. So I connect these to my phone and my laptop. So it's just easier to not log around big headsets for work. So I use this for work purposes. And then I also have my Vaseline lip therapy. I also keep my pouch here, which carries a lot of my other personal stuff. It's got my cards as well, hand cream, tissues, and like personal items, personal lady items. So yeah, I keep this here. It helps me know where I need to reach for certain types of things that I'm looking for. Oh, I thought I was going to find money in here. <laughs> so this is what I keep as well. I also have my uh, blue light glasses. So I use this I try to really, really use this quite a lot because I'm so exposed to the screen, whether I'm editing, whether I'm working, whether I'm watching TV, like there's so much exposure to blue light and the screen that I really take care of my eyes by making sure that I use blue light glasses. These really, really come in handy. And for those who know, I did break my favorite pair. So um, these are a backup. They're not bad. I like them. They're okay. They're really not bad. And I also have some energy boost. There was a time period where I was just feeling very, very low. So I have these um, in case my energy levels go down or need a pickup in my energy. 
I also have some pens, some controversial pens on my side only because it's from my previous employer and <laughs> but they still do the job. I also have my car keys and I also still keep my other pouch that I use for my other cards. Just the balance. I think it's also a lesson for me not to keep everything in one bag. History has taught me not to do that so I do keep this pouch for other items. And then lastly I do keep my sunnies. I have others in the car so it just depends on the type of look that I'm going for. So I keep these in my bag as well so that I'm able to reach for them. It's almost summer as well so these would definitely come in handy so that is what i keep in my bag as you can see it holds quite a lot and it can get heavy but it's able to withhold the um, the weight of the items i do try and switch things up i do have another bigger work bag that i use but i do try to switch it up depending on the outfit that i'm going for i'm very like conscious about matching things and is this going with this shoe is this bag going with this shoe what about this shirt so i'm very conscious of that so it really helps me to have big bags that i'm able to also use as work bags so i hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and i'll definitely bring more in this series that i'm trying to explore on what's in my work bag hope to see you guys in the next one bye